guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all had a beautiful and creative week and let's get into today's video firstly i am so sorry there was no video at all last week and i have not been really too active on my channel uh, my internet has been down and so it's been really really frustrating um, not being able to get online and this was possibly due to all the heavy snowfall we had at the beginning of February, which was horrendous, and that's what that's what I'm guessing. I have no idea, but it, like I said, it's been really frustrating not having it on, and only I've only been able to get on in little bits before it cuts out again. Oh, I swear, technology really, really hates me, <laughs> but is back up and running full tilt now, so I'm going to cross all my fingers, toes, eyes, whatever else I can cross, so it stays that way, and I cannot wait to now catch up with everything. <laughs> Yay! I've missed, I've missed watching YouTube. I mean, my goodness, it shows how addicted I am. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this. Today, I am happy to introduce you guys to my OC, Ginny Gray, which if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen a little preview pic of her. Um, it's for a short one-shot manga story I've been working on since 2013, and I've just picked it up again, and I hope to actually get it complete now, and... I am so happy to actually get back into making manga again. I've really, really missed it, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I have redesigned Ginny so many times over the course of three years, and I, I really feel like I finally settled on this design of her, and I get the feeling that uh, she really likes her final design as well. <laughs> so that that's that's a good thing. Um... I'm still tweaking the story and her background story, but I'll give you guys her specs of what I have for her so far. She's 15 years old, 5 foot 2, and as you can see she has white hair, pink eyes, and very very pale ghostly skin. Her birthday is February 1st, which is the day that she came to life for this story. So she's an Aquarius. Um, she also goes to a magical academy, so she there's going to be like four houses, like the Potter series, and her house is called Qualfer, which I will go into in a later video as, as I work on this story. So she also has a wand, and her wand is 12 inches long, it's oak with unicorn hair and fairy wings, it's pliant, and the end piece has a blue sapphire. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, blue sapphire rimmed in gold at the end of her wand. So, yes, it's going to be so pretty. I'll show you guys some designs of that later as well. Um, let's see. So her other positive, like, she has positive qualities. So she's truthful, just, curious, affectionate, frank, imaginative, and very creative. She's also very free-spirited and generous. And some of her negative qualities I have written down so far are she um, has a tendency to go off track. She's cripplingly shy and quiet. It's a very soft voice. Um, she's introverted. And so that can make her seem like a cold, aloof person, which, you know, she's not. She's very warm hearted. And she's also very independent. And. What else do I have down here for her? I'm just looking at my notes I have in front of me. Um, let's see. She has a very warm and loving home and kind parents, right? And But her school life is an absolute nightmare, you know, from the fact of her being very shy. and But she's... So it leads her to getting bullied in school. And so she is incredibly gifted with her magic. And she, Ginny, is an artist. So she's a very gifted artist. And this horrible bullying that goes on because of her soft and shy nature, all this talent lies hidden to everyone but her and her parents. 
So she is so quiet to even the point where the teachers don't really notice her as well. And because of her magic abilities, she tends to walk around the school almost semi-transparent. So that's why I have her quite pale skinned here. And so she's a little bit, you know, depressed because of this. And, you know, she doesn't realize she's walking around semi-transparent. So that's completely unconscious to her. But she's going to have a friend that will come along and is going to help her. And you guys will have a chance to meet him in a future video. So I can't wait to share him with you guys. He is going to, he's brilliant. She is also fluent in Welsh and in English. The school takes place, uh, the school is, takes place, I should say located. The school is located in Wales, one of my favorite places, which I would love to go actually visit one day. So, yeah, so there's going to be Welsh and English in this. Uh, the spells I have in this series are not going to be Latin. I've changed them to Welsh, just so they're different from the, the Potter books. So, Welsh is a beautiful language, and I'm excited to use it in this. So that's all I have on Ginny right now. Um... I know that's not a lot, but I'm still working everything out and tweaking everything. And um, so you guys will get to know a lot more about her as things go on. Um, I, I wanted to give her a very delicate and frail look. So that's why her limbs are quite spindly and thin. And I've enlarged her eyes quite a bit to show the motions that she has on the inside. That no one notices and um, this this is gonna be a very personal story to to myself and I it's gonna be full of feels guys so I'm hoping to get the feels in you for this and it's very personal and it tackles you know some very important issues I, I take very seriously and so all of this, all the symbols that you're going to see in this are going to be very deep and symbolic and everything, most of everything is going to have a meaning to it. And I hope you guys can pick up on those meanings. <laughs> and so I was just curious, you know, if, if you guys would be interested in seeing a web page for this story and for these characters so you guys can learn more about them as I work on this and you guys can see the settings and backgrounds and uh, the color of the schoolhouses and everything. I actually did a lot of research on English uniforms and so hers is slightly based off of that. I know actually school uniforms don't wear high heels but I'm taking some some liberties here just so it could be pretty. <laughs> so I hope you guys like her uniform. Um, I know her tie looks a bit like a, a bee, a bumblebee, but those are the school colors are black, white and gold and I'm also thinking of this of running this on Taptastic and my DA page as well and possibly Instagram because I have some seen some manga artists post their comics on Instagram so I'm gonna look into that and I cannot wait to get started on some pages this is just an absolute treat to get back into manga I have missed doing this so so much so majority of this will be in black and white and pencil, but as the story progresses, that's going to change to color pages. Again, more symbolisms! Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, I, this, is, this is wonderful. It's, it's filling me with so much joy, and I love working on these characters and the story so far. I know it's not too detailed, but again, I'm still tweaking everything, so you guys will learn about her. So... If you guys are interested in a web page, I th did I mention that? I mentioned that? Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Just let me know in the comments down below and I will look into starting a web page for this. So yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching and spending your time with me today. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!